Hello everyone, in this video we will create a React application and then we will connect it to Firebase Firestore database. It's a service provided by the Google, it's for free for now. And to do that first thing is to go to GitHub and create a new repo. You can name it anything, I'm naming it as YouTube React. Create your repo, copy the link, go to any place in your computer. Open the command line and git clone and that's it. Now let's wait for the repo to be created. It's created. Now open the directory of the parent folder. Try to find your project folder. Here it is, YouTube React. Copy the name, CD, your project folder name and that's it. Now you are inside your project folder. Clear, clear up the console mpx create react app because we will create a react application in project folder it's done now we can clear up the console we will download a few packages and those packages the first one is react router dom you will not need to use this package actually but in any case let's download it because there is hardly any other any react project that you will create without react router dom and but these two dot and firebase we will definitely need them so let's download these two packages it's nice now let's open the project folder in vs code so I see, i'm saying code and dot it's nice now let's make a cleanup a quick cleanup grab everything here one two three four five except index index html and delete them Go to source folder, app, CSS, logo SVG, web vitals, setup test, and also this app test, grab everything and delete. Open app.js, delete everything between these view tags, and also these import lines. And maybe you can type some random things here. And that's it, app.js app is finished. Now go to index.js. Delete all those lines here. Also these web vitals. That's it. And go to index, delete the code. And here I like Rebouche. It's up to you, whatever you like. And then maybe a background color can be nice. So what is all the all the trap? I'm not sure what kind of color it is. Okay, and open the index.html, delete all those link tags, all of them. And this, there is one more here. And this command line is deleted, and no script deleted. And change the name, you could say my app. And here, uh, you need to, I mean, you should define your project. But I will just type something random. And I think it's finished, but we need to add two more things here. These two script tags, they will help us. Let me show you. When you open a project, when you open a website on your browser, and uh, if you have this React extension, then you can see if this website is using React.js or not. So this website is using React.js because as you can see, this icon is active right now. And when you are creating a new project this icon is again active but it's red so to overcome that red icon you should put i mean to make that red icon disappear you should put these two tags they are optional okay i mean you don't need to think anything about them they are not relevant to this project they are optional okay so it's finished yeah now we can go to firebase console click on add project Type your project, so I will say YouTube. It's nice. Let's continue. Enable Google Analytics, it's no harm. Continue. Select an account, default account Firebase. The project is created, let's continue. There it is, nice. So click on, I mean, on the left panel, you will see Firestore database, click on it. And wait for it. actually first we need to 
create an app. So let's go to YouTube. Let's add an app. This one. And let's name it. We will name it as Fire Store App. That's nice. So we will use Fire, Firebase config, but for now, let's go to the console. And here is our Fire, Firestore database. Let's create one. Start in the production mode, test mode. You can choose production, it's fine. And let's check that. Choose the region which is closest to you. And open your Firestore database. I forgot to show you how you can change the rules. You remember in the production we said for the right operation if false. So just delete everything and leave it like that. Our Firestore database is ready. Everything is done. So click on this project settings and go down and you will see this SDK. I mean this file, let's see. So copy it, copy everything here. Okay, copy it. Open your code editor and inside source folder, create an e-file. You can name it as Firebase.js or Firebase config.js, I prefer seeing Firebase config, paste it. That's nice. Let me check. Yeah. So, I mean, we can make our project project just like that, but it's not going to be safe. And I will show you how you can save your uh, sensitive data, in this case, all those API keys and etc. in a .env file. So to do that, create a .env. Yeah. And here inside the .env, we need to follow a certain convention to create our variable names. Make the names like this, okay? Do not change React app. Your variable names, they should start with React app. And make it just like that. And then grab everything here. Paste it. So I'm going to be pasting these values inside the relevant API key, okay? So I have copy pasted all the values here inside this .env file, except database URL. Database URL is needed when you're creating your project with real-time database, not with Firestore, but with real-time database. So in this case, we can just leave it like that. And that's it actually. Now, now we need to also change these uh, values here. I mean, the keys are gonna stay the same, but the values we will point them to our .env file. And to do that, let me show you how you can do that. Just grab everything here and paste it there and you will be good to go exactly so that's fine and if you prefer you can delete this database url and actually that's it we are finished with the firebase config close this close this one also now we can connect react application to the firebase and to do that we'll just copy this and paste it there so that we will not be losing too much time i will try to explain it to you so here we are importing three functions from Firestore. And here I have uh, specifically put this code here, put this line here, because sometimes you might face some uh, not loud, not loading error. So if you face uh, Firebase not loading error in your application, then you should put this because this will make sure that Firebase config uh, will happen before you load your application to the browser. And later, this is simple actually. I mean, as you can see, if you know some React.js, it's very simple. It's just two input fields with a button and button is connected to this function, save data to Firestore to write some data to the Firestore database, okay? And here I saved my collection, but you can say anything else. You can now close this.
And now let's say npm start, but before that, let's clean up the console. npm start. So now let's type something. I will say apple nice tasty fruit. Let's, I mean, I will try to write these two input fields to the Firestore database now. Click on the save Firestore, document written to the database, go to your database, refresh the page, and you should see your document written to Firestore database. Here is it, my collection. This is the document ID. This ID is provided by the Firebase. Field one is apple, field two is nice, tasty fruit. That's nice. Everything is nice, actually. Yeah. So now let's also create another button, which this time display all those values that we have written the database. And again, here I have written everything here so that we will not be losing too much time. And let's put the button first. We will add this import because we will need one more special function to display data from Firebase Firestore. So, but instead of saying, I mean, instead of two import lines, I can just use the same input here. And that's it. More than that, we also need to create another uh, variable. This time it will be an array because we will uh, grab all the documents inside Firestore. Uh, they are objects. So we will save them inside this array. But when, when we save them inside this array, they will not be like uh, JSON objects. They will be JavaScript objects. So it can be let, it can be const, it's up to you. And after that, yeah, there is this, but I will show you this later. So let's just grab the function, which will grab all the data from uh, Firestore and maybe you can put it down here, okay? And here we are uh, getting all the documents inside our collection. So just put your collection name here and it's pointing to, to the Firestore database. And we are using get docs, as you can see. In the, in the, right, in the right operation, we are using add docs. In the uh, get operation, we are using get docs. And here I have created this temporary array. Again, you can say const or let, it's up to you. And we are first saving all those objects inside the temporary array. But before saving inside, we are using this data method. I mean, this data is, is converting uh, that object into a JavaScript object, the data part of that object in, into a JavaScript object. So once we, we push everything inside temporary array, then we can set, uh, we can set this set stored values array to temporary array that we can display here. But let me show you how we can display. Maybe we can, but let's put a break tag here. Now let's create a new tag. Let's open some curly braces here. Now we can grab the stored values and then we will call the map function so the first thing is like the element let's say item and the second thing is index in this i mean in, in the case of this map function this index will point to the index number of elements inside this stored values array and then we can just go down and we can display them actually it's it's easy Maybe another deep pack. Okay. And one more here. And here inside this deep tag, let's say key is equal to index. And then we can put a paragraph, or you can even put list elements, you know, like unorganized lists or organized lists. It's up to you. How was the name of the fields? Yeah. Field one and field two. So I will say. This yeah, I will say item dot field one to colon here, and then another curly brace. 
and we will say item field cube. And that's it actually. We are, I mean, the project is finished. So the project restarted. Let me save one more thing here. I will say orange is orange fruit color. Save Firestore. Nice. Now let's fetch all those data inside Firestore and display them on this React front end. You see? That's nice. That's how you do it. And hope this was useful. And if you liked the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.